everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Thank you very much for joining me. I apologize first of all about the camera quality. I do have a new editing service and the camera works perfectly there except I can't upload the video because it's not on the right server thing so I gotta figure that out. Right now I'm using my camera on my computer again and for some reason when I just use the camera it comes out fuzzy. I don't know why. The color is not good. It just, it's awful. So I apologize. I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to try and work it out. But, um, first of all, oh, second, I mean, we already did first. <laughs> second of all, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. And if you're a tuner viewer, welcome back. My camera quality is usually much better than this. Lately, it hasn't been. <laughs> Anyways, um, Welcome. So this is a Yarny Goodness video server here for the bookish content. I'm sorry, this is not the video for you. This is a Yarny Goodness video. So this is a crochet finished object video. Woo! Okay, so this is my third time doing this video. <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired of saying the same things. Anyways, I've got a finished object. Now the story goes like this. I babysit two different families, three kids in each family. One of the kids had a birthday three weeks ago, and um, or two weeks ago, actually, and she turned 11. I babysat just before then, so I didn't give her a present, not knowing that her mom had two weeks off work, so I didn't, wasn't going to be babysitting for the next two weeks. So, but the good thing was, I didn't finish the, the present in time, so that's good that I didn't babysit. <laughs> oh, look at the camera. It's so bad. I'm so sorry. It's just, it's so bad. Anyways, I digress. So, I made a unicorn. So, um, I'm going to show you the unicorn. Now, be nice. It's not the best quality. This is only my second amigurumi or stuffed animal I've ever made. It's not the best. The first one I made is much better, which I will, spoiler, be showing it to you tomorrow. And um, when I have three more stuffed animals to show you tomorrow, um, because I have uh, three other birthdays to be making them for before Tuesday morning. And it's Sunday night tonight. So, yeah. Okay. This is now <laughs> a unicorn. The pattern. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. So, the pattern. Show the face. The pattern is uh, Ruben the... Okay. Let's see if I can get it. Ruben the fluffy pink... Unicorn dancing on a rainbow, I think is what the pattern is called. I will link it below. It is a free pattern on the Crooked Needle at blogspot at blogspot.com. And um yeah, now see now <laughs> if you notice, first of all, we're gonna talk about the the things I did wrong with this pattern. Because <laughs> there's a lot. Alright, first of all, the head is like so much bigger compared to the body, right? Yeah, I used a 4mm for the head and a 3mm for the body. I don't know why. I never noticed it until I put it together and then, yeah. So the head is very big. But, I mean, there are big-headed unicorns, you know. Like, don't judge. There are no prejudice against big-headed unicorns. So, yeah. Um, the legs <laughs> are kind of wonky. I don't like this part, but it does help to connect them. Again, this part I don't like. The neck tube, I forgot to put stuffing in it before I sewed it on. Adventures of First Time Amigurumi. Forgot to put stuffing in the neck tube. So, the head kind of goes down like that. So, yeah. So, we've got the mane and the tail. Now, the head does go off to the side. She does say that in the pattern, which I don't mind. I think it's cute. The horn, I didn't put any stuffing in. I probably should have. You're supposed to. I thought it would work fine without, but it looks kind of pathetic. The face. I love the face. So, I learned how to do um, embroidery on the face, the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. Um, I did that from a video I learned from YouTube. If I can find it again, I will link it below. 
it was a really easy uh, tutorial on how to do it. It's really quite easy. I enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. I'm now doing that on all my stuffed animals. So, yeah. And this family does have a young child, a two-year-old, so I didn't want to put buttons or, or snap, snap eyes on it. What are those called? Those snap-on eyes? I didn't want to put those on just because it's choking hazards. And right now, she's putting everything in her mouth. Believe me. So, um, yeah. What do you think? It's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty bad, but it's not too bad. I mean, the head kind of, like, you know, goes like that. But maybe she's eating grass, you know? I like the tail. The tail worked out really well. The main... I really like the face. I think the face turned out really well. The eyes and the nose. Now, in the pattern, she does say something about the nose kind of looking like Voldemort's nose. Uh, this camera is awful. I gotta turn the light off, but then I don't have any light. Is that better? Is that too dark? Anyways, yeah. The nose, she said, looks like Voldemort's nose, but I think it's cute. The snout, I mean. I think it's cute. I like it. What do you think? Do you like it? I like it. I think it's cute. If she, if the little girl doesn't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> but um, the reason why I made her unicorn is she, like I said, she turned 11 and she is having a little bit of problems fitting in with her friends and um, making friends and trying to, she's 11. She's an 11 year old girl. I mean, hormones are going crazy at this point, right? So um, she's going through a lot. Preteen girls go through a lot. If you don't know that, if you're not a, a woman, then please know. Preteen girls go through a lot. So um, I decided to make her a unicorn so that I could teach her to be a unicorn. And what I mean by that is to be yourself, be unique and special, and that she is unique and special like a unicorn and to just be herself. So, um, whenever I tell people to be themselves, I always say, be a unicorn! So, that's why I made this to give to her. So, hopefully she'll get the message, and she'll like it. I'm excited. So, again, the pattern is free. Now, the problem, there is a little tiny problem with the pattern. It's not a big problem. But if you're a beginner crocheter, it might be a little bit of a problem. So I thought I'd mention it. Now she does mention this in the pattern that she was that she just wrote it down the way that she writes things down. Um, it's not professionally written or anything. So um, it you kind of have to read between the lines on some of it. So um, it could say. Uh, chain two and then the next line it'll say crochet two and then the next line you'll say crochet four or single crochet four if you don't know what that means it just means you do two increases so you do two stitches in the first stitch and two stitches in the second stitch to make four so and then it would say single crochet six so you kind of have to know where she's going with it and uh, I don't remember her name but again I will link the pattern below. Great pattern if you are not a beginner knitter and don't know anything about decreases and increases I encourage you to um, go on YouTube or Google it and uh, find out how to do them. They're quite easy to figure out. Um, so other than that the pattern is really quite easy. It's all done in single crochets and slip stitches. Um, I believe there's a couple slip stitches. I don't think there's any magic circle. I mentioned that because magic circle were, was my bane. I had so many problems with magic circles until I started making one of the other projects I'm making because I have to do so many magic circles with that. And I taught myself how to do it, but for a long time I couldn't do them. For this pattern, there is no magic circles unless there might be one part of it that's magic circles. So one other thing is you make all the parts and then sew them together now there are ears for this for the life of me i could not sew them on and let them stay i could not get them to stay i don't know why but they kept whenever i pulled it it kept falling out so i weaved it in and everything and it's still yeah i don't know what happened i could not do it i just gave up i might try it again but 
tonight, but, um, I mean, I think it's cute without the ears, too. The ears are really cute, though. I wish I'd been able to do it. But I don't think she'll notice if she doesn't know, right? So that is Reuben the Fluffy Pink Unicorn Dancing on a Rainbow. Because in the pattern, it comes with a little rainbow pattern that you can put on to, under it or beside it. And I didn't make the rainbow. I just made Reuben. <coughs> I think this is Rubina. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways... So, yeah, I will link the pattern below. It's a free pattern. It's a great pattern as long as you know, like I said, to read between the lines. So, yeah, and again, I don't like the head. It's kind of big. It looks bigger on TV. It adds 50 pounds, you know. <laughs> so, anyways, this goes to the little girl tomorrow morning. I have to babysit at 4.30 a.m. So, woohoo. <laughs> Lucky me. So, um... Yeah, so I hope she enjoys it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And subscribe if you, um, so, if, I can't say it. I'm just, I'm, I'm so tired. I haven't slept much lately. <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you so desire. And if you would like to subscribe, then, <clears throat> sorry, if you would like to subscribe, go for it. Don't forget to hit the little bell if you want to see um, more videos of um, when I do the videos. It'll notify you. Oh, never mind. You know the. You know what I mean. Okay. I'm going to go and finish crocheting the next two items. And, um, yeah. Have a good day. God bless you and all you do. Bye, guys.